But hello, all you out there in the urban franchise entertainment world, all the peeps. Thank you so much for joining me. As you all know, after the last time that I appeared on here, um, I am your brand new WGF World Heavyweight Champion. That is correct. Boys and girls, Peter Gears up in here is your World Gaming Federation Champion. Uh, a long overdue, you know, um, a lot of the other versions of myself, I am actually a wrestler. I am trained. So for any Anthony to hold this belt, it makes the most sense for good old Peter Gears to be the one to be a champion. And I will be a fighting champion. I will defend into this belt every 30 days. I have become champion two weeks ago, a week ago. So that means I have to defend this belt within three weeks. So I, I'm putting out an open challenge. Anyone want to come up in here and challenge Peter Gears? Well, the next episode of WGF will be including that challenge, however it goes. I don't know if I lose. We got a new champion. They got the belt, but go Peter Gears no, ain't that ain't, that ain't gonna happen at all. Peter Mania is back. Peter Mania is in the house. It is in the Urban Franchise Entertainment. I am here. Go Peter Gears to be a champion. I left that Earth 905. Because they want me to be a heel. I'm here to show this world what kind of place this boy can be. I'm going to show y'all what, what Peter Gears got. I'm challenging them all. Come on. We're at the Peter Gears. We're not up in here. Because you know what? It don't matter what you think you got. You willing to be the Gears. You're going to get dropped. I am the people's champion. Peter Mania. I'm going out to prove everyone that had low points in their life. There is brighter, brighter days ahead of you. Not so long ago, I was working for them, Stu Corp. All I was doing was like cleaning up and mopping the floors, cooking the food. I didn't even get good food, you know? They didn't even feed Peter. I was, I, I was giving him some gold money, putting my foot in that. I ain't, they ain't even feed me. Give me scrap. You think Dr. Cone ever had this belt? Dr. Cone had to steal this belt. Peter. Peter was declared a world champion. And Peter ain't just gonna hold this thing like Dr. Cone still it. He wanna compare it that I ain't win it. Well, when, when Tom Montana come back, we'll find out. We'll find out when Tom Montana come back. I, I, you don't doubt yourself. I will for that. Peter Gears is up in here. I put this bell on my shoulder. Peter Mania is mad. We're running this. This double GF. We're going to take it on all back and run. And take it to where we ain't been. Y'all ain't been paying attention to the WGF. Well, guess what? Now you can't. They're not. Peter Gears is here. They ain't gonna take this belt everywhere I go. There ain't gonna be a time where I walk out of this home without this belt. Unlike Tom Montana, this belt actually fit around my waist. I don't know if y'all tell me I ain't a worthy new champion. It was the belt that fit around my waist. He why I, I wanted a competition. No. He just gave me the belt. Tom Montana ain't on Peter Gears level. He could come, he could try. We're waiting. You gonna give Peter, Peter Man a little time? 
Well, it went until Summer Blast at the end of the summer. It was it Summer Fest? Summer Blast? Whatever it is called. Whatever that weekend. Off this big event. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. I'll take you off. You want to bring it in? Talking about you coming back with a wise man? I don't need no wise man. Peter Gears on his own. See this? My talents. Anyone, step up. You step up. We can do it online. I'll send you the bell in the mail if you win. Come take on Peter Gears. You tell me the game. You tell me the game. We, we going to do it. We're going to do it. I, I tell anyone from Stew Corp. Yeah, you just got to be subscribed to them Stew Corps. Or work for them. And next episode, Peter Gear put them down on the line. I'm going to be a fine champion. Ain't any all doubt that. Uh, don't tell you, don't doubt that at all. Peter Mayer is going to be one wild. And now we're going to end this right here, how we do these things. And if we don't got enough, I guess uh, we do what we got to do. But y'all don't know what you got to do. If you want to be a member of Stu Corp, go and hit that subscribe because everyone want to be a member, don't they? And uh, you, you, you just remain good, okay? Just remain good. And you do that blitz, you know? You blitz it, okay? You do the blitzing. Be in the good. You be good. Don't do no bad things, okay? Then again, don't tell you. Be just doing them good things. And then you blitz. I, I still won't get it. That's what they say. You be good and you blitz. What is going on, guys? Oh, well, we still need about 45 seconds left for this episode. Uh, let me show you guys uh, some Christmas gifts I just got, actually. Um, my uh, little sister, the Aslas, she got me a crystal healing gemstone tree. This uh, actually heals all your different chakras. It comes bounced up, and then you got to kind of spread it out and uh she also got me a giant Himalayan salt lamp this is actually really heavy like I have one for my uh, computer desk this like regular size one my mom gave me now I got this like this beast I'm gonna go put it in my room but these are just all uh good vibes good vibrations told you guys uh there's a reason why I uh, always wear these uh, chakra beads and stuff. I actually believe in this stuff. Uh, it's something I've always believed in. Energies, um, good vibes, certain people I want to be around them because of their energies. And then, you know, eventually points where those energies change. And then when the vibe is not there, I feel as the vibe starts off somewhere and then it gets, builds up and then builds up and then it just drops and goes somewhere else. And it's like, I lose interest in it. Um, so this is kind of me. I've just been one of those people who go off of energies and that's kind of the vibe and stuff. These are the type of things I actually really love. Um, very healing chakra. I just actually really like this. I'm going to be put this right beside my bed. Um, this too. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should hide it because this feels like it could be a weapon. Honestly, it feels like this could be a weapon. But you know, you know how good this is for energies and stuff. Um, so many people have wished me happy birthday. I haven't actually been able to get back to every text message and every inbox that I've got. It was kind of really overwhelming. And we're like a few weeks into my birthday and I've been giving back to at least 50 people a day. Um, I appreciate you. I appreciate you all. Um, gifts that I've gotten, uh, unexpected but appreciated. Uh, stay good, peeps. Stay hood and keep it.